Good evening for anybody out there. We're starting a little stream. A stream for the pe good people of No Man's Sky. I'm here with Ricey at a base. This is the same planet as Nemo's uh, swings and roundabouts. But we're just on a platform, might have some fun tonight with shipbuilding. I shipbuilding competition. And we can always go over and have a play with our exocraft on the racetrack, which is just on the other side of the planet. Very nice world. I thought about some uh, underwater racing. Or maybe some nomad across the sea. You never know. What other places are on here? I see Atlas Galacticus off in the distance. Who else? Onsetters base. He should be starting any second. Right, let's get Discord open in a minute. And see who turns up. He needs a firework behind him. Did he get that firework? Let's just move the Discord window open. do something about racing over water as well. Could be fun.
Hello, Discord. Hello, Pete Stream. Hello, everyone. Hello. So what I was thinking this evening, gentlemen, ladies and boys and girls and everybody, is get yourselves into this system, fire up the consoles, fire up the PCs and all the good things that can do multiplayer. And for the next hour or so, stay in this system. Don't go anywhere else. And build the best custom ship you can using the bits only from this system. You're not allowed to go anywhere. Now, the ships that we're seeing so far, I haven't seen many ships just recently, actually. It's probably broken. So it's probably better to come to this system, pop a little base down on a planet somewhere, load into single player, find a ship, or find some ships, take them to bits. Oh, look, there's uh, there's a snow speeder hanging around. There's a, there's a barrel nose. So there's some interesting parts knocking around. And then come back a little bit later on, and bring the ship that you've built and show it off and we can see who we like the most. At the same time, we might do a bit of concurrent hunting, competitioning, you know, the old 20 minute job, but we'll see who we get in a round. We'll see who we get. Isn't this the third Atlas, race yeah. track? We've, this is the second one, Jacob. This is the one with the twisty turns. The first one was the oval. The next one was the twisty turn one. We've not had one since that. Um, but yeah, if you'd like to, to come on down, then please feel free. You are more Why is than welcome. Anybody Why can is come. Atlas's starship merged with mine? It's all purple and green. Oh, who knows? So there's that snow, there's a heavy snow speeder there. You get those nice uh, Rayleigh really bits. I forget what they're called. They've all got new names. What about the starship one? Oh, the, uh, the starship racetrack that Katrine built. Yes, we went there as well once, didn't we? We've not been back, not been back since. We might have to visit that one. So, yes, apologies for not being around for a couple of weeks. I, uh, yes, work got in the way. As it does, real life and living <laughs> and all that stuff. That ship just disappeared that landed there. Where did that go? Was that Atlas's? Or was that That's piece? Atlas's. I think. I've Looks like multiplayer's mine. wonky already. The jetpack can be that mine. Uh, yes, it is with a mod. <laughs> <laughs> My jetpack, though, this particular save has a, uh, a modded jetpack because it's easier for hunting ships. So I am running a couple of a couple of mods, maybe three, by the venerable Silent Robot, and it's just for a bit of visual effects. And and the jetpack just gets a bit um, tweaked, so I can move around easier. Uh, they can the be way, found on Nexus mods. Uh, so head over there. Welcome. Welcome. Welcome to the stream, Mike UK. How's it going? Yeah, and Mike's over there as well. Beautiful. He's good. Yeah. good lad is Mike. And we've not had a look in the Discord either recently, so what I'm hoping to do in the very near future is get a, a video together and just do a a normal video of uh, some of the best Discord finds and show them off. Because there's some amazing stuff over on the Discord uh, that everybody should see. So I shall probably look at doing that as opposed to doing a stream. I shall make a video. There's Peter. Make a video out of it. Every now and then do a, a video update on the on the Discord finds. And we're being raided by ships. Who um, brought Diana. the enemy ships? Hello, Diana. How's it going, Ducky? So yours was supposed to be metallic and red, but the colour paint job is still glitched out. Ah, of course. Oh, marvellous. Mine's all purple. Um, can, can, can we shoot, shoot them the down with the my ground? mining laser? I don't know. No. Think yes. So. Some did damage happening <laughs> to that one. Hang on, what am I on? I no, need a bit uh, closer good. range, I think. Ruin it, then. Uh, oh. That's one of those, yeah. That's that one. I don't remember which key it is. G. Sorry? G. G. No, G's not G. doing it for me. I think I remapped it. No. Uh -huh. But I don't know to what. <laughs> oh, it's going now. Incinerator and a bolt caster. Uh, neutron cannon. Runic lens. No. I might have to go and shoot one. Someone did. <laughs> I'm trying to shoot it from the ground. It's no 
they're going to work. And uh, heist. There's a heist on. Oh my, cranky. Why did oh, I, I didn't draw the ships, so they've got a hell of a lot of hit points for me. Have they? So whoever, whoever these ships were attacking. Where did I park? I don't know. Where is my ship? Um. Anybody remember where we parked? Looking for my ship. No, it does just. It's just naffed. Oh, it's over there. It naffed off. It did, it did. There we go. Did you try to check to us? Try a bit of that. Where is the enemy? The enemy, oh. where are you? Oh, there. Oh, thanks. Yeah. I'll pretend I'm wounded and on fire so they won't shoot at me. <laughs> I don't think that counts. Somehow. I found out that if they're not your actual... If the ships are not after you, they're after somebody else in the system. they got tons of hit points and you don't damage them. Yeah. Because those lasers on my little ship Ooh. do a lot of, a lot of damage. Hmm, they took a while to die. Right, where's the base going? Um, why does my, oh, my music have stopped? Oh, yes, I know why. Because I haven't set it up properly, that's why, right? So, yes, that's why it's not working. Just get up here and I can sort some tunes out. Yes, it reached the end of the playlist and didn't start again. That's the trouble. All right, uh, which button do I press? One moment, please. Right, is any more people heading over? Maybe. There we go, we got some tunes back. <laughs> got them, yes, Atlas, we did, we got them. We did, we got them well. So we're starting to get, uh, so that's, there's, there's the Venerable Atlas Galacticus, yes. Is anybody else managing to join? I don't know, I'll just yeah, sit at the bar and wait. It's just us three at the minute. So fire up your machines. Come on. You know what I'm going to do while we're waiting? I'm going to see what the um, space station this system looks like. I've not been to the space station here, I don't think, since the update. Oh, you haven't been on for a while, have you? Really? No. Not really. Well, while you do that, and as I'm at the bar, I shall pop downstairs for a cold one. All right. Ooh, let's go and see Back in what a sec. got. Is everybody enjoying the orbital update? Um, graphically, it's very nice. I like the customization to an extent, and I like the space stations. I haven't seen many of them yet. And as my last video alluded to, is the import is this the end of the Emporium? Atlas has excellent. Uh, no, it's not the end of the Emporium at all. In fact, it's a new era because not only do we have, and I alluded to this in the video slide. I don't know whether the point came across properly or not. But ship hunting hasn't changed. In fact, it's got a new facet because we can now hunt for ships for the bits. Oh, that's a very narrow entrance. Ooh, that's cool. So we've got to find the ships that we still love and want to have in the wild. There are still colours you can't reproduce. Some of the bits I was talking about that you can't get, you can now. But we couldn't at the time. So there were still some part. This is very... Orange. Nice. Um, but you still need your bits. You still need the parts to build your ship. So you've got to go and look. You've got to go and find them. And so, sitting up at the... Uh, well, this is quite a nice spot over here to watch. There's even a little chair in, in Gex systems. You can, you can sit and watch the... Um, oops. Sit and watch the ships come in. They just stand there now. You can just sit and look over the balcony. 
and wait for the ships to arrive, which is nice. Good evening, Douglas. Good to see you. Come. And why does the first one in have to be a shuttle? Oh, dear. Yes, Dan, so there's two streams running, and we're both on the same Discord. Here we are. So, you can hear both of us. We're currently now at uh, my Discord. Um, and if you're a member of the Rice's Starship Emporium channel, then you can come say hi on there as well. Just on YouTube this evening, I've not managed to get Twitch working. But at least now you can chill at a spell. At least in the Gex station, you can sit and chill and watch very peacefully the haulers and the fighters all come in. Oh, I fancy that. Uh, I mean, I'd call it a duck bell hauler. It's not called that anymore. Here comes Atlas. No, that's not Atlas. Who's this? Oh, it's I can't Jacob. remember Hello, the names. Jacob. You can look them up. You can when look you them up or you can look in your inventory. Go to the build station. Uh, I, think I'm, I think I'm going to refer to the fighters by their old names. Most of them are the same. So that's a strato hall cockpit. One with a curvy bit at the front. I've got to learn all these names again. I really don't know. Uh, I've got some quasar wings down there. That could be Jacob's though. And that's mine. So you can sit and chill and watch the ships come in. Or you can go down to the planet, onto the trading posts. It's also a good place to find the ships. They come a little bit quicker down there, I find. And then you find the one that you want, just like that. You want a bit of that, um, that explorer there, for example. You go and buy it. Buy a C-class, they're cheaper. So we're hunting for C-classes and we're hunting for S-classes at the same time. It's a whole new There's facet to ship hunting. Nice hauler just landed at the trade post. Nice. I look at these uh, ships now and I think, which bits can I steal off them? Yeah, well, that's it. Which bits <laughs> do I need? Which bits haven't I got? I'm going to rip that piece off. Uh, the better ships mod? No, I don't. I don't use any mods really that affect the gameplay. I've got a couple of uh, ones useful for streamers that get rid of some of the wavy, speedy lines because it, it messes with the stream. And the jetpack, so I get around a bit quicker. That's about it, really. I, I like to keep it as vanilla as I can while still being able to present a a stream or a video in a in a timely manner. So I'm not wasting your time or mine. Everyone's coming to the space station. That's all right. A party at the space taking up all the pads. I, I do like the atmospherics in these places. It's very nice. And if anybody needs any parts to build some ships, I think... Uh Tree Moon Rice, you've kind of got it covered. I think we've got everything you could possibly... I can't do Explorers just at the minute. Have you got Explorer parts? No. I think no. I've got one. Enough to make yeah. one Explorer, which I liked. But Okay. I think I've got one Fuselage, that's about it. Um, I've got all the fighter... I've just noticed I've got no box thrusters. If you need a box thruster, then... Um... Oh, thank you. For the carbon. Very kind. Uh, I've got no box thrusters on me right now. Um, so, if you need one of those, ooh, cake. We like cake. Yeah, I've got box thrusters. Pete's got box thrusters. I've got the other two. They're not called box thrusters. I forget what they're called. And I've got all the other um, bits, and I've got a good choice selection of hauler parts. So, the the kind of duct-style uh, cockpits. What are they called? The different names now. The Type 11, the Strato Hall, and the Hydraulic. I, I, yeah, Hydraulic. I've got all the engines, and I've got all the tails and things, and a choice selection of wings, be it fan wing, W wing, sorry, ion flare, or ion blade, and a nice selection of the uh, the spherical objected ones, the Titan S, Titan F, D, A, and just by themselves, and a, and a good pair of boxes, the ultra lift wings. Yeah. Uh, all the wings with different engine components as well. So if you'd like some of those, head on over, please. Oh, look at us sat on the chair. That that's. I wonder if my um, screenshot button works. Let's, let's try it and see. <laughs> Everybody screenshot. up at the station, are they? Yeah, we're all sat on the sofa. <laughs> I just want to check on Discord to see if that's worked. I don't think it has. It doesn't seem to have worked for some strange reason. No one. No. That's something to check. Something else for Ricey to check. Can I take a screen Steam screenshot? I'm not sure I can. No. Let's try it. An in-game. 
do that. Do that. That might work. Nice. Yes. Nice. Yes, you. Hello. <laughs> At least that still works. That's cool. So you can sit with your chums and watch the ships fly by up in the space station. Hey, these two are sat here. They should be building ships, to be fair. <laughs> You've been yeah. screenshotted. Yes, you have, Jacob. Yes, you have. So, Atlas, Jacob, you need to be out finding ships to destroy to build the best ship that you can from this system. That's what you need to be doing. Off you jolly well, Pop. If you need some money, I can give you money to buy the, as many ships as you can eat. Yep. And then I... Um, have I got... What have I got? Some Starship AI valves there, yes. Um, have I got plenty of those still left hanging around? Oh, loads, yes. If you need cash to go and buy some ships, I can give you the cash, it's not a problem. I've uh, been destroying for a while, but have you been destroying the ones in this system? That's the question. Can you build a good ship from the bits? Any ship from the bits in this system? That's, uh, that's what we need to be doing right now. I've seen some nice haulers coming in. We are in a Gex system, so a hauler <coughs> might be the easiest to get. However, yeah, the hang fighters are well. limited, but we've only got four fighters in this system. It is Gek after all. You've got seven haulers to choose from, and four explorers. So, can you make a good-looking ship with the bits in this system? That is Mind a me. question. Have you got your standings up yet, Rice? Oh, I don't know. Where are they? In here. You get free stuff if you get your standings I, I up. I know. So, what, how does it, what does it work on? So, um, get, oh, is good. it factions or life forms? It's factions. Uh, the factions, factions seem to be clumped around in an area. So you've got the merchants, the explorers, and the mercenaries guild. Mm -hmm. You've got the outlaws, and something else but I can't remember the autophage apparently looking yeah. at the screen at the minute could be it's a merchant's um, guild which this one am I explorer's looking at? guild which is yeah this explorer's guild which owns this station yes. you can get salvage frigate modules if you're master or oh, above that's you can all get right. one per reload so is that the or dude one. up in the corner yeah it's where I am there you are So, talk to the envoy. So you can so donate can... stuff to get your faction up. Oh, what's, what does he want? Nothing that I have. <laughs> check your freighter Excellent. and check your ship as well. Uh, ooh. Artifact charts, ancient keys, Adel cores, storm crystals, glowing minerals. Not sure I have any of those. Yeah, if you look what it gives out though, for me he's I've showing ancient keys. Salvage. I've got twenty ancient keys. You can have them. He's showing that you you he will give you salvage frigate module. So if I just put them in my exit suit, you can donate directly from your freighter. How can you? All oh, right. Yeah, you just choose it along the top. So three. I don't know why I'm, when I say choose it along the top and I'm pointing to the top because you can't see me. <laughs> <laughs> no, I well I can see you in Discord, to be fair. But um And of no, course I'm if you're in the Discord. With my actual then hand. <laughs> you can, oh like this, yes, pointing at the screen. Yeah. Pointing at the screen. Um you can get a lag free um, viewing experience as well. That's another bonus. Scott Rinch repeat, good evening, good to see you. How you doing? Welcome, welcome. So I've just given some keys to this here envoy. So what am I on now? On mercenaries? No. Merchants? Explorers. Uh, explorers. Twelve. I'm not twelve. Next rank up journeyman in two. Alright. So you say you go to your freighter. So you go to your freighter. Find the thing you want to give him. Yeah. No. Open his screen. His donation screen. Oh, right, okay. Um, 
interact, talk to them. interact. Yeah. Yes. And yes. If you oh, oh, the, the top. top. Oh, there. Of yeah. course. There. Yes. Switch C. Starship freighter, but it's not in. Ah, uh, but it's only in the freighter, not in the. That's right. Storage containers aboard your freighter. No. Okay. Grain to the nest. Grain to the nest. <laughs> It's been a lot. Yes. I'm uh, glad you well, Scott. Good to see you. Welcome back. Marty, hello. Happy Friday, Rising Chat. Marty, 16 plays. Hello. Good to see you. Mm, so I hello, can... Anna. Oh. Hello, Anna. No, I don't want that one. I want this one. Come on. You know which button to press. You've been doing this long enough, Rising. Allegedly. So let's half that again. Put them in my exosuit. Talk to the little chap there. Donate. Oh. Oh. You can only give so many of one thing at one time. Yes. Unless you... Yes. Reload. Reload or go to one system and then come back to this one. Indeed, that would work, wouldn't it? Yes. Yeah. So, okay. Put them in. No, like that. Freighter. Freighter. What else have I got hanging around in here that I don't really need? But I could happily donate to the GEC. Got rid of... Oh, Storm Crystal. Let's, uh, let's Storm Crystal him up. Oops, no, that one. Too much Star Citizen. I have so much catching up to do in No Man's Sky. Rakdos, hello. Yes, I know. I've been out for two weeks and I've lost track of what's going on. Um, and once once you gain maximum faction, you get 50% off all the modules on the station. Oh. So we're up there again. With the explorers. Ooh. Associate in six. I've got 15. So you just keep giving them stuff. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Or doing missions, you, I guess. You can do missions as well. Yes, okay. I think giving them stuff works a lot faster. If you have the stuff, of course, yeah. If you've got the stuff. <laughs> but sometimes you can take the free stuff, say, three warp cores, and then you go donate, and he says, can I have three warp cores? <laughs> oh, right, okay. Well, let's, let's try that. Um, I can collect free supplies now. This yeah, this guy's got yeah. salvaged frigate modules. Look at that. Yeah, And an exactly. S-class scanner module. Meh, not to be sniffed at. So let's take some warp cores, one of those, yes. And oh, we can buy those. Right, now can we donate them back? No. Does he, does he want them now? No. Okay. So, but yes, I guess you can, you can carry them around between the different systems and they all want them, so. So that's quite good, that's quite good. Hmm. So what ships have come in whilst I've been faffing around with the, uh, four of nine I've got, okay. Guessing this is somebody's ship, yes, that's Atlas's, Atlas's Radiant Pillar. Oh, that's working now. Jacob, you did redeem that one. That's what well, oh, good. That is kind of working. Bob's going on the bus. Why? 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 Can't scrap these yet. We may get to scrap the solar ships in the future. It's quite a nice little tan and white one. Hmm. So anybody in, in chat, anybody in chat, the glyphs on the top left of the screen, come along. Except for you, Diana. Because you've got a switch. Oh, yes, no, switch. Sorry, switch people. Can't, can't, can't do that. So those that are here that haven't seen the racetrack yet, let's go look at the racetrack, because that's good fun. Good idea. Find it. Yeah, uh, not that one. That, that base there is a bar called Dice's Spaceship Imperium. <laughs> I like it. Yeah, I saw I that like this week. Yes. I don't remember which planet we were on. Oh, this one, I think. Um, That's Pete's 
There it is, roundabouts. No, it's onsetters to roundabouts, not that one. No, I have to get a bit closer, I think. Well, I'm at the base. Are you? Yes. Right. It's called Swings Nemo Swings and Roundabouts. Yes. Is it? it should be. Is there a system. comm station there? Oh no! Ah, is it? Oh, it's over there. Yes. There's a couple of three just close together that we use to get into it, and it's kind of blocking the others out. Delta One. Good evening. So how are you doing? Good to see you. Friday. It's time for wine and No Man's Sky. And just chilling, doing nothing in particular, giving stuff away to those that would like it. So do come and join us in game. There it is. We can do some racing. Brenda's in actually quite well at the moment, he says. Well, yeah, it's missing. it is. They, some rendered out and some came back very quickly. Yeah. I think I just landed where something should actually be. Let me just take off again. Yes. Rendering. I was talking about the track. <laughs> oh, I see. Now I was talking about the other things. Ooh. And there is something invisible down here that I keep walking into as well. So I'll land a little bit out the way. Ooh, the things popping in and out. It's very strange. How on earth have you decided to take me two landing pads away? Ooh, Atlas is done customizing the new hauler ship in the system. Ooh, from system bit. Excellent, Atlas. Very nice. Uh, bring her down. Show it off. And then we'll see if anybody can make a better one. Now, all this stuff hasn't rendered in. Oh, it will. By Peter. <laughs> it will. We'll get here. We'll get here. Oh, there we go. Right. Where's my exocraft? Oops, that one. There we go. So this is the famous racing track by Nemo. It's very good. Very good. Finally made it home to watch. Yay, nice one, John. Good to see you. Welcome. So let's go for a little sojourn around the track that the carrot's not rendered in yet. No, it uh, all do renders anything else, as you go around it. Before I do anything else, I need to put some fuel in my engine. Ah, oh, yes. You Here haven't upgraded go. your Roma yet, have you? Roma? Roma. Why? You know, what your grades do I need? A little few illegal ones. Ill illegal mods? Ooh. Not quite. Some that what you have you can been only, faffing with? Some of that you can only make outside of oh, the right. game. Oh, which is? Do, do tell. Really? Well, you know the Icarus fuel system. Yes. Uh, there's nothing outside the game saying you can't put more of them in. Do you? How <laughs> many have you got? Just a couple. All of but them, it yes. But oh. it doesn't run out of fuel. Oh, that's handy. It's only the recharger. Yeah. So this this is a really good racetrack to be fair. I do enjoy going round it. Where are you? There you are. Oops, except when you do that and miss the turn completely. Guess I didn't put a lot of fuel in there, I've only got back to twenty percent of it. I think it's you need to uh, you need a pit stop here. I do. Let's how much ah that's why. Let's use that. So there we go. So you can come down. Uh, hey, Throttle Jockey. Good to see you. Welcome. Are we all well? 
Um, so if you want to come for a race, if you don't want to build, if you don't want to hunt, you come race. Just come chill and relax with everybody and see how many people we can get onto this planet. Because it's fun. But if you do want some ship parts whilst you're here as well, then um, happily give some away. I've also got the engines to go inside them. We've we got, have lots. as I say, we have plenty, plenty. So we've got the S-Class reactors. I've got far too many stacks of 20 to give away. <laughs> Just turn the webcam off for a minute. Then you can see what's going on. I've got the mono thruster. I've got the tri booster. All the noses. All the wing parts uh, that you could possibly need for a fighter. And then I've got the these nice uh, strata hall and hydraulic cockpits and tails and engines. The nice selection of <coughs> super cruise wings, uh, fan wings, with the various engines that go with them. The torpedo type, the firebox F, that one's called. That's the super cruise. We've got the super cruise wing. Uh, the double boxes, the spherical objects with various attachments or none at all. So you can build yourself a glowing ball hauler if you so wish. Yes. Now, Rosie, some say that you get a better ship if you build it with a C-class reactor and upgrade it. Really? But then we've seen that in real life as well. Yeah. If you buy yourself a C-class ship and upgrade it, the chances are you might get a better ship. And you've been doing some research into um, different ship part combinations at different space stations to get different supercharged slot configurations, I believe. Oh, yes. I've opened a new section on my Discord where if you go to that system that station and there's a picture of the ship and you build it to that configuration you will get the supercharged slots pictured below ah. so that's a guarantee so i guess the holy grail for anybody that's wanting to build a ship a custom ship is to find the space station that takes the parts that you want and <laughs> yes back sorry um that also gives you a cluster of supercharged slots so that the holy grail of the station that fits your customization requirements with the four supercharged slots in a square. Is that a fair comment? Yep. Right. That's where we are, people. So not only are we hunting for ships and ship parts, we're also hunting for space stations that give you the right combination of supercharged slots for the right <coughs> combination of bits. Yeah. Think of a space station as a multi-tool cabinet. Each one has a different configuration. Ah. So you could have a mono thruster alpha nose with, I don't know, the android type wings yeah. in one station and the, the supercharged slots could be all over the place. Yeah. But if you go to a different station, those same parts that you've <coughs> tried to use will give you four supercharged slots in a square. Every yep. time. With those Every bits. time. Nice. Good to know. Atlas is here with his new ship. Is, is it this one? Where? Here or there? Who's arrived? Unicron has arrived. Hello. How you doing, Hello. sir? Hello. I'm very well, so how are you? Pretty good. Unicron's here. Stand by for... I'm by for crashes. <laughs> Disappearing. <laughs> <laughs> so, using the parts in this system... Hey, this is this is quite a funky little ship, actually. I, I'm, I'm not distraught by this configuration. Where is he? I can the clouds see. to go away. Um, I'm not sure if the colours are right in red and green, but it could be. Let me know, Atlas, if these are the right colours if on the stream. It's custom with square supercharger. Nice one, Jake. You'd have to tell us oh, yeah. in which space station you built it and what the bits are. Oh, presumably. Uh, have the... Oh, it's gone away. Yeah, there is a section open on my Discord for you to post your builds and finds. Oh, that's awesome. Yes, on mine as well. The, um, uh, what's it called? I forgot what it's called now. Hang on one second. <laughs> I've put it at the bottom of the hangar deck. Is that a And new it's called the, the Shipyard. Yes, the Shipyard. It was previously talking about um, ship configurations and that sort of stuff. That was a perfect place to post your custom built ships as well, because that's what you do in a shipyard. You build ships. So, in the hangar deck in, in my Discord, along with Pete's as well, uh, feel free to post your finds in both. Um, absolutely. And on mine, could you keep the same format? Let's take a picture of the uh, ship, 
in the station with the glyphs on and below it a picture of the super slots. There you go. So it's all repeatable. No need to colour it. <laughs> colour doesn't matter. Colour doesn't affect, no. What I am interested in trying to find out is the um, the decals. How does yes. that work? Well, your decals, if you... Let's have a look at this one. There is a decal. This one there. Which one are you looking at? I'm looking at the same ship. I'm just trying to see your stream. Oh, the front. The front. It's like a round, a round circle one. with a thing on. Yes. That means yeah. it's a player-built ship. Oh. So they all have that and you can't change it? That's right. So, irrelevant of which ship you scrapped with a particular decal on, it will have yeah. that decal on it. That's right. Yeah, right, okay. Interesting. For haulers. Is that the same for every ship? Because every ship can have that decal, I think. Yes, somewhere. every ship will have that decal if you will have it. this one on it oh, that's, that's, that's fascinating are you very quiet unicron that's an interesting little detail i was about to say <laughs> yeah and how about these ones on the barn doors for example are they how do they get generated i don't know are they from the bit that you scrapped perhaps they could be or are they, they random could be, could be random yeah have but this one have is, to get is, a few have to get a few more barn door ships and see what happens indeed yeah it's supposed to be metallic dark white and red but again the colors are still glitched out yes they are okay so this is supposed to be metallic dark red so, sorry metallic dark white and red but it looks like the red might be right the bit of metallic on there but the rest of it's gone it's this turquoise mm. color yeah it's That's always that thing. turquoise color that, you that, get three that. colour options mm. on a hauler, don't you? Yes. Yeah, so it'll always be that one. All, one of them always comes out turquoise, whether you like it or not. In multi, only in multi, for, for, for Atlas, this looks perfectly fine. But for us in multiplayer looking at Atlas's ship, the colours haven't come across as they should. I mentioned it on X to the Sean Murray's. He's probably ignored me. And we've mentioned it on every stream so far since Outlaws came out. In multiplayer, the uh, staffs, uh, staves, or whatever you want to call them, and ships. If you've built it yourself, using whichever system, which is probably the same system, the colours aren't right. Yes. Speaking of staffs, if you would like staffs, I've also got every single bit of staff parts as well you could possibly eat. I um, have a staff bull terrier. Staff bull terrier, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, yeah, if you want some staff bits, have some, you, can, you may have some staff bits as well. I guess we're going to have to hunt space stations and uh, jiggly bits now. Yes, you are, Nanya. Hello. Got to hunt them space stations. So the thing to do, I guess, is have in your mind the ship that you want to build. So I want to build a ship with, um, I don't know, for, for argument's sake, I want to build a fighter with a mono thruster, a radiant cockpit, or Raza, with, uh, let's say, some nice vulture wings. Go out and get those bits. I've got those bits now. I have them in my pocket. I can take them wherever I like. And then start going around the space stations, put them together, and see what the supercharged slots are. Because those parts will have different supercharged slots at different stations. And once you've found the one that gives you four together, if that's the combination you're looking for, then every time you build one of those style fighters, using those three parts every time, you will get the same supercharged slot configuration. Very interesting. It's good to know. I haven't tested it. Peter has. I trust Peter. I like Peter. Uh -huh. so I'm not going to doubt him. Um, he's done the hard work. He's done the legwork for us. So, yeah. And, of course, if you find a space station like that, then pop it in our discords. Let everybody know. Share the, share the knowledge. Uh, Wingland Dread is working. She sends hello. Oh, thank you, Nanya, and, and uh, love back to Dread as well. Hope you're all doing fabulously.
Admiral so of the Black is entered the system. No, that's a real genuine starship. Unicrowns. Unicrowns? Oh, gosh. Game invite Ben to play with. Yeah, why not? Oh, I've disappeared. Huh. Oh, hang on a minute. I just accepted an invite off um, Pirate King Undead. So did I. Oh. Oh. <laughs> no, welcome. No, absolutely great. Um, is it okay to share our link, Ricey and Fam? Uh, yes, Nanya, of course it is. Yes, yes, yes. If you can't, um, Bob will. Is it? Is it your? It's not your channel. It's Dred's channel, isn't it? Uh, friend request. Yes, you may be my friend. Um. Because there is an automatic command we can use, exclamation mark, or Bob can use, exclamation mark, S-O, space, username. But I think it's uh, it's under Dreads, not yours, isn't it? They would come out as the wrong one. But eventually will be Dread, great little streamer. She does some good stuff. Uh, content creator, streamer. Uh, go and check out uh, Adventures with Dread and Magic. Oh, is that uh, Leon Musk over there? Uh, yes, Leon's I here. He, I hear he runs... <laughs> I, I hear he runs hey, a he company cars. called... Called Twitter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we've got. Oh, strangely, we've got things incoming that are evil. Sentinels. Sentinels are searching. Oh, I see. For somebody. So what's happened here, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and everybody, is that someone's come in with their difficulty settings turned up to difficult, uh, and it drags stuff in. So please don't do that. That's not. It's a, it's a little bit on the naughty side. Um, all you have to do is go there, go into options, into your difficulty setting and make sure which one is it now uh, combat is set to standard if it's on hostile you'll drag sentinels into the game that you're in where we're not at that level it's a bit of a glitch in the system but if you've got a modern um, multi-tool such as an atlas one or a staff you just take your right well, click oh just do it right there. just do it pew pew indeed Yes, yeah, so that's why it brings it in, because your difficulty settings are, t are too high for, and it drags it into other people's multiplayer. So if you don't want that time, just knock it down a peg, and they should go away. So that's what it is. That's, that's what causes that. It took us a while to figure that one out, to be fair. Um, yeah, it goes to the highest level of the person that's here. So that, that's, that's how that works. And if the person that brings them in... Sorry, if, if, a, person, or if a person hasn't brought them in but then shoots them... It summons more for them. So you get twice the sentinels and so on and so on, and it just balloons out of control. Yeah. <laughs> Again, multiplayer in No Man's Sky. It's a bit janky. They haven't quite figured out how to do the multiple difficulty level thing in multiplayer. Lasers in the sky for Bob and Rice chat. Yeah, we will do later. We'll do a bit of lasers in the air later on. Why not? Because it's, it's fun. Where did I put my shit? Where did I put my wine? <laughs> Dude, where's my ship? <laughs> Dude, where's my wine? Let's change ships to something that won't discolour. Uh, it might discolour for me. It won't discolour for the wine will. not indeed, yes. <laughs> Why not? Um, right. Now, these starborn runners look really nice to me in black. Why have you got a black Cause, one? Yeah, everybody's got a black one to me because I've got a little mod. Turns oh, black. you're modding them all to black, are you? Uh, mm -hmm. Sentinel force deactivated. There we go. They should all go away now. Uh, sorry, uh, uh, Pyro King, I missed that in-game chat message. Sorry. Uh, it, it scrolled away too quick. It doesn't last very long on the screen, to be fair. Deactivated. Mm. There's a Sentinel. Heard. What are you doing? Ah, that's Lylaps. Oh, but can't. Oh, you can't type on you. Oh, you can't type and play at the same time. I understand that. Yeah, uh, smash the likes for rice eats free. You. Well, I won't say the f word. Uh, well, thank you, Nanya, for reminding everybody. It does really help, to be honest. Yes, thank you. It's very kind. We're doing very well for likes, to be fair. And if you're not subscribed, why not tickle the old subscribe button as well? And there's other buttons there you could possibly, possibly look at as well. <laughs> so, yeah. Just jokes, chat. Just jokes. The fool's bit was jokes. The, the clicking the like button, that's, that's, not, not, that's not a joke. And if you're watching on Peach Stream, click like over there as well. And subscribe. How many subscribers you want now, Peter, anyway? Um, something over 100. Something over 100. Well, get yeah. in there slowly but steadily. Something. Very nice. 
Under Rexy's. 150, I think, but... Uh, Will Ricey find that gem? Which gem? There's no gems and I don't have an eight ball. Oh. oh. <laughs> well, while the sent... Who pinched my exocraft? <laughs> it's gone. I think I'm becoming too powerful for No Man's Sky because I know... Because oh, because I know only just real. I now only just realised that I own multiple starships and a freighter with square superchargers. Oh right, okay. Let's cut you with your square supercharged configurations, Jacob. Yeah. I don't have one ship with a square supercharged. I have a ship with more than four supercharged slots, but that's not found in game. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. What's that, Ricey? All your sh all your slots aren't supercharged. No, they're not. I don't think. Hang on, I need to check actually. Where's the sender? No, I've got. In fact, I think the sender might even have only four. Yeah, I don't think you modified that one. No, I've not modified this one. I wouldn't say it was necessarily OG. No, the tech is. No, the tech's normal. I might have tweaked the stats out with the slot. But uh, I haven't tweaked the slot. don't know if that counts. Uh, this is the way, Jacob. <laughs> Professor Nickel hit 25,000 subs. Oh, excellent. Well, congratulations, Professor Nickel. Well deserved. I like Prof. He's a good lad. Uh, my ship has three in a square and one, two slots to the right. That's not bad, actually. Yeah, you can do some good good, uh, good configuration. Having four together isn't necessarily the best. You can make some great ship dats with um, slightly separated slots so you can get the different technologies going around. It's quite an interesting way of doing it. You can do, but if you really, really want to destroy that Sentinel freighter, get them all together. <laughs> uh, you open the save editor and turn all the slots supercharged. Yeah, that's what you do. <laughs> I can't currently 100% vouch for Goat Fungus' save editor. I haven't used it recently. It has been updated, but there were some issues with it when the update first came out. I'm sure he's, he'll have fixed it by now. This was maybe 10, 15 days ago. Oh, it works. Um, oh, it works. Okay. Um, so, but again, if you are going to use Save Editor, make sure you back up your files first. Save Editor will attempt to back up your save for you. However, the chances are you can still brick your save. This is for PC only, of course. Yeah. Uh, or Steam Deck. And the other thing you. is, you cannot save your built ship. Because you know? it, will, it will revert... There was something in the file, and it will revert to whatever that ship really is. Oh, I saw the bug report on that one, and he's, yeah, mm -hmm. he's, so he's still searching for that issue, is he? Right. Mm -hmm. Still searching the files for what that flag might be. Oh, yeah, it's fixed at least last time I used it. Okay, cool. Thanks, uh, thanks, Pirate. So yeah, it's, the save editor is great. Everything else works. Um, but just when it comes to the, the customized ships and, and that sort of shenanigans, it, it's not perfect as it currently stands. So be careful, be, back up your files uh, first before you go anywhere near the save. Yeah, it. whoever owns this Laylapse has their settings set to attract Sentinels because he's on high alert. You can tell oh, that no. because his yeah. eyes are red. Ah, okay. And it's not me because I'm nowhere in the system. And I haven't got my laylaps out, as it were. Uh, hey, Josh, how you doing? Good to see you, Bob. Oh, now it rendered. Oh, is that rendered in properly, or am I just, oh, I'm just in the wrong place? I'm being followed by a, a lesser spotted Leon Musk. Yeah. Excellent. <laughs> too, many, too many starborn runners around. Uh, yeah, you can be, yeah, we can be friends. Yes, of course. I'm friends with everybody, me. Uh, <laughs> thanks, Nanya, for pulling that quote out. That'd be very nice. There are quotes in there, somewhere. Uh, yeah. Would anyone like a race? 
proper. I've shown the track off twice now. <laughs> Would anybody like a race? Anybody who will race ricey? There's not that many quotes, none yet. No, it does not exist. Splashing Lakes. Good evening. Good to see you. Welcome. Does anybody want any ship bits? Ship bits. <laughs> <laughs> Does Atlas need any bits of ships? Uh, <laughs> there you go. Bits of ships of ships of ships of ships. Ships of bits of bits of ships of ships of bits. <laughs> one has to be very careful how one speaks, especially live on YouTube. Yeah. Yeah. Quote seven. Right, see, I like going down. Oh, okay. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I like going down. down <laughs> all down there. Down there. Yeah, I like going down. You don't have 55 quotes. Well, well, that needs to be carried. Delta, it does. You're quite right. People need to pay more attention to the daft things that I'm saying and write them down. Only the UK has best bits. Yes. We have the best bits here in the UK. So, Leon, do you need do, 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 do I can't speak. Do you need any ship bits or any accessories for ships? I was talking about shuttles then. Yeah. What best ships? No, no, no. <laughs> ships that should be bits. Shuttles. Yes. <laughs> Just to upset Michael. Uh. Is Leon actually in the chat or just in game? It's island by both ways, don't worry. I can I can read two screens simultaneously. I've got two eyes. I can go cross-eyed like that. Not that you can see with my glasses on in this lighting. Uh, oh, we have a new person. Who's this? Right, where's my base? It's Tachyon Rider. Hello, Tachyon Rider. Delta ship bits. Yes. We're going to take off for dinner. Have a great stream, chat. Thanks for being here. Thanks, Bob. You're amazing. Uh, I think we've still got, um, uh, this gunboat still hanging around. I'm in the wrong thing in the mm, thing. Not sure. Uh, gunboats are here, yeah, gunboats around. We still have a super mod. Oh, we've got a sentinel. Weird. What, what, why are you here? Okay. It's because, uh, somebody's got their settings on. Yes, yeah. yeah, so again, there is a, down your there is a lay lap hanging standard. around. Well, laylaps should be all right. We they, they kind of fixed. Yeah, but laylaps uh, laylaps uh, shows alert when somebody's on a aggressive sentinel oh. planet. Yes, it gets red eyes, doesn't it? Yep. I, you know, I've I haven't got mine out for years. Normally, quote that. <laughs> in fact, do I even have the thing still in my thing? Sure, will I? Yes, there it is. How do you do it? Where did I put my base? Oh, there it is. Where did you put... You've lost your base? <laughs> yeah, I have to go into space to find it. Uh, why doesn't my laylapse thing work? Oh, I've been stood on by Leon. Maybe that's why the laylapse isn't working. I pressed it and nothing happened. It went bzzzed. So, well, I don't um, seem to have a laylapse with me. The uh, question I've got to ask is, was Elon Musk's parents good at spelling? <laughs> <laughs> hmm. No, I've lost my laylapse thing altogether. I don't know where mine is. Might be in my inventory. I just oh, used it and it disappeared. Oh. Oh no, it's there. Deactivate flare. Mine's probably in storage. Sentinel force deactivated. That shouldn't happen. That's weird. I love laylaps. Huge fan, says Nunya. <laughs> yeah. I'm here for innuendo, Ricey, says Helder. <laughs> <laughs> nice. And did someone just do damage to me? PvP is off. It should be off. I mean, precisely for that reason. No one. 
No one at all can hit me. Aha! Sentinel force deactivated. Strange. Sentinel searching now. I am indestructible. Yeah, I've got no lay laps. Anybody see my lay laps? Let's go over here and see if lay laps turns up. Oh, I think my game just crashed. Oh no. <laughs> um, is the stream still going? That's the main question. Yeah. Yes. Good. Well. Um. It's all got very slow. Yes. I think my stream just crashed. Oh, sorry, my game just crashed. Let me uh, have a look in my a bit back of noise. for something. Let's just give it a second. Oh, what's that? Sentinel boundary map. Um. Be back in a sec. Hmm. I may just have to kill I'm just it. Going to, I'm just going to have a chat with a sentinel boundary map. <laughs> have a chat with a sentinel boundary map? Okay. Yes. Uh, where's Steam? There it is. Uh, confirm. That had died. Quite significantly. Um, yeah. Yes, Gunboat. Game crashed. Did Welcome to my desktop, by the way. This is, this is my... My Linux desktop. And there's my Steam. Whee. So let's hit play again and see what happens. Like the picture. It's the one that comes with it. <laughs> <laughs> I've not had a hard No Man's Sky crash in ages and ages. Wow. <laughs> it's quite um, impressive. Wow. Very strange. Hey, there's Adventure of the Dread and Magic. Cool. So if I fly back Welcome. over, do the Sentinels all die? No idea. I'm not sure the command works in this way. I can try it. Here's me trying to type on my touch screen like I type on my iPad. It doesn't work on Windows. Uh, where's the at button? Oh no! What? Polybot doesn't like that. Uh oh. What? Uh, shout out to Ad at Adventures with the Dread and Magic. Sorry, racist Starshman for him. That user doesn't exist, or you spell their name wrong. Well, I don't spell it wrong. If they are new, click save button in the stream bot. Hmm. Can't find your link there. Um, it could be the spaces that are messing it up. It could be. Gunbo, if you can very kindly um, find a link to Adventures with Dread and Magic's uh, channel, that would be amazing. Thank you. Right, where, where the heck am I? I don't know. Uh, are you Here in I space am, or on, on the planet? Top of the tents. <laughs> I'm on top of the tents. Ooh. But am I by myself? Maybe. Got Rinse Repeat entered the system as well. Beautiful. Everyone started to arrive and disappear at the same time. Oh, right. We've got nine people in instance. Nine people. That's the most I've seen for a long time. Would anybody like any ship bits? The bot may smack it, but there it is. It is there, yes. Uh, I, you, you can share it, Nunny, by all means, but I don't think it, the bot will let you post it. Um, 
Uh, yes, yeah, Joss, of course it is. Ah, okay, people are starting to appear. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. If you would like anything, money, nanites, uh, ship parts, staff parts. Uh, there we go. So, yeah, Gunboat Everything. has posted in chat a link to uh, Adventures with Dread and Magic's channel. Head over there, hit subscribe, hit like, and uh, you won't be disappointed. There's Pete, the Guardian of Knowledge. There's Scott Richard Pete. Hello. I think Guardian of Knowledge is the um, title for Max of the Explorers Guild. Ah, excellent. Got any gull wings? Probably. Um, um, I have the ones that aren't Serenity. Yeah, if you want the Serenity, you're going to have to go yet. and find them. Yeah, we can't get them into game by themselves just yet. I do have these ones, the gull wings with the the thinner engines don't have the big fat engines. Which ones are they? Can we see any? Any of these ones don't have these fat engine gull wings. Why are they? Why are the tentacles yeah. uh, all, all aggressive? Uh, they're that? not very aggressive to me because I've turned the pillar off. Um, oh, on the planet. The, okay. Yeah, they're called gull wings if they've got the box thrusters on, and they're called yes. condor wings if they've got the serenity engines. Condor wings. Nice. Condor. So Scott would like some of these. Okay, have um, five. Is five enough? That into extra suit. Is Scott nearby? Scott, where's Scott? Get closer, Scott. Get closer. There we go. There you go, my friend. Me and Dread find out how to busted the multiplayer. Uh, yeah, first hand. I mean, I've been poked right to the back by Jacob. Uh -huh. yeah. uh. We've still got blinking sentinels here. I know. Yeah. Uh, nice. I Shall I to, liquidate I actually one? Had to hide. I actually had to hide because when I Joey did, they started going nuts. Yeah, so again, everybody, come into your settings. I checked, yeah. And go to difficulty. This one here. That one there, difficulty. Come down to combat settings. Combat settings. And make sure nothing is above standard. Standard, standard, standard. Predators you can put me like on. Don't go here and don't go here. None of these. If you're in multiplayer, at least for this evening, don't go here. Stay here. Thank you. Public warning over. Sorry, public announcement, you say. Fist bump. Yeah, we've got 214 subs, and thank you all for the love. Beautiful. Nice one, then. Nice one, Dread. Get in there. Get in there. Won't be long now. Oh, dear. Well, living ship. Whose is the living ship? Gary420 is in. Uh, just stop to say a quick hi. Um, you are awesome. Thank you. <laughs> Have a great stream. Well, thank you, Fetsai. You're more than too kind. Too kind. But it's nice to have this many people. This many people for a while. Yeah. Let's have a look. How many are there? Ten. Ten. Yes. Thanks, Nanya. Are we doing racing? Um. The game's getting a bit laggy for me, but yeah, we can do. Yeah, it's the problem is all the sentinels. It's the sentinels, oh. isn't it? Yeah. So we've got ten players. It should be alright, but it's, it's all the all the little enemy sentinels yeah, that's, the, uh, yeah, that's slowing down the game for everybody. It, yeah, it's ruining everything. <laughs> nice one, Gumbo. <laughs> Thank you. And it, and here's the thing. I'm I'm eager to try. Uh, <laughs> since I probably know that I finally upgraded to uh, Series X, so I'm hoping to uh, put it to ah. place in my racing. So. Oh, you've got a new machine? How yeah. exciting. It's very exciting. So, we need is my Exocraft still down there? I don't know. No, it's moved again. Oh, gosh, yeah, lag. 
Oh, Gunboat, thank you so kindly for the gifted membership. And that gifted membership has gone to Fet Cipher 1. So, Fet Cipher is now a shipwright on the channel for the next month. Free of charge to them, but paid for very kindly by Gunboat Will. Thank you very much, Gunboat. And they have. Oh, I can't. Can't get out. Found a problem with putting the things in tents. <laughs> what? <laughs> if someone parks in the doorway, you can't get out. <laughs> uh -huh. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. Well, your ship's in the <laughs> system. Just summon one. I would drive over them. Like this. Maybe. Oh, now I'm completely stuck. Oh, well. Oh! <laughs> you got onto the roof. Very good. Yes. Uh, can I just summon one? Probably. Here we are. Do it that way. <laughs> yeah, very lucky. Very lucky. It is very lucky. Yeah. Please right, don't then. bring sentinels. Don't bring the sentinels. It's no, terrible. No, don't bring the sentinels. It's ruining everything. So yeah, 07 in the chat, please, for Gunboat, very kindly, and big ways to Fet Cipher for becoming a new member, free of charge, with no obligation. Oh, I forgot, I shouldn't jump on this straight. These nomads almost don't make the corner. No, they're, they're quite tetchy, aren't they? Flighty. Flight is a good are. word. <laughs> so it's shortcut. <laughs> Don't know if I've just driven over. Sorry about that. You, <laughs> you were on my racing line. <laughs> mm. Ricey Schumacher. Something like that. <laughs> <laughs> or some such. Oh, no, I forgot to turn the corner. Oh, thankfully there was a wall there. Hurrah. Oh, a person. <laughs> oh, you're brave walking around the track. <laughs> so while I'm going around the corners and stuff here, a little bit of aspiration for the channel. I do want to bring... Oh, yeah, I'm thinking of bringing... I would like to bring Star Citizen to the channel. Is that something that everybody would be interested in? And if so, <clears throat> what? And how? Yeah, I must get back into that game myself. But Suggestions maybe the chat, after yeah. the after the next update. Hey, go through. Which is soon. Good to see you. In, in the next couple of three weeks, I reckon. In the next yeah. month. We're going to get 3.23, which has got all lots of new stuff in it. But I'm enjoying 3.22. It's good fun. Um, finally got my head around it. Made some nice new um, new friends in the Star Citizen universe as well. That we could all come together with. Um, but for live streaming, it's a little boring. Getting between places takes time. For example, we decided Mike would watch. Oh, thank you, Mike. We decided to go and do a thing, a mission or what have you. It took the four of us an hour and a half to get ready. <laughs> that is a problem with um, it. And that's the thing with Star Citizen. Everything is real time. So you need to go to a shop to buy some things. And then you need to go to a different shop to buy some more things. And then you... and, and so on and so on. So it takes... and everyone's got to do that. So you multiply well. the preparation time by four almost, as you're all going around doing different things. Then you've got to fly to the place. Maybe you I can take prepare. ten minutes before the so, stream starts. It, th there's more planning required, I think, for, for Star Citizen to get together with your your buddies of the day. So, right, tomorrow we're going to do this. So get yourselves ready. <laughs> and then you can just go. I still think maybe videos would might be a better option as opposed to live streams. Um, because it would end up being a four or five hour live stream. I like that uh, frigate flight. But it's a fun game. 
Um, you can have just that, and that's it, make videos and stuff. I think so, Gun. I think you're right, where we just screen record everything. And then <laughs> I chop together a video about it and, and, and do a little. Even if it's just with no particular yeah, intent. The other problem with Star Citizen is it's a very limited universe. But there's still enough at the minute to have to make it fairly interesting. And the scenery is gorgeous. It's as good as No Man's Sky in places, if not better. Oh, it's all but yes, you are limited to four planets, a number of moons, and some space stations. At least for now. More solar systems are coming. Um, but the ships are amazing. I managed to oh, gather yeah. a good collection of ships together. Um, but yeah, so well, yeah, we'll see. Any suggestions? But stick in the Discord. We'll talk about it in the Discord if you like. Um, I just think that there's more to Rice's Starship Emporium nowadays than just No Man's Sky. No Man's Sky will still remain. I love No Man's Sky. It's not going anywhere until No Man's Sky goes somewhere. I don't think it will. It'll stay. It'll hang around for a long while yet. Um... But, you know, variety is the spice of life, just a little bit. I don't, I'm not going to go mental and start playing every single game under the sun. Um, I was very kindly sent a game code for Underspace by the publishers and played it for an hour. To, to be, it's not my cup of tea. Um, I might still put a video together. I don't know. I don't want to do it a disservice because for some people it will be amazing. Um, for me, I found it a little confusing because I'm old and decrepit, maybe. Um, <laughs> but, um, you know, so I, I don't want to do it a disservice. It's not a bad game. It's just not a game that... There's nothing wrong with it. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with it. It's very nice. It's very well put together. It's very well built. It lacks a certain something that I need. Does that make me a bad person? Does it make me a bad gamer? No, it means I have games of a particular choice and style of which No Man's Sky fills, ticks that box. Star Citizen is ticking that box. Underspace didn't quite tick it for me. It may tick it for you. I recommend you go and take a look. Um, I'm trying to think of the game that I but, um, recently downloaded. Yeah. Was, yeah. So Underspace, take a look at Underspace. It's on Steam. Um, it's just come out of early access last week. Take a look, see what you think. I, I, I... It's not bad. It's not for me, but it's not a bad game. I got uh, Star's End. Star's End? Hmm. Yes, it's an MMO. You start off with not much on a planet. And you start by gathering stuff, and in the end, you can go into fleet battles with friends. Oh, I think Under Space will get that that way. It, it's it's a little more mm. story driven. It's a bit more. It's not an MMO. It, it kind of is, and it isn't. Well, Star's End uh, it's pre-release, so it's still got some polish to do. But it looks like mm. No Man's Sky type of game. First survival, right. then resources, then get together with people. Yeah. And you can play single player or multiplayer. A bit like okay. Elite. Right, so you can play it by yourself if you want to, yeah. Yeah. Look at these lovely people. Uh, I'm, I'm so sorry, Mike just put the Fallout 4 gets the next gen update on the 25th. Ah, well, yeah. yes, I think it's. Actually, actually yes. Yeah, I've got Fallout 3 in my library and I've never played it. I've never played the Fallout games. And of course, with the TV series now out. Well, it's, I saw the TV it? series and I thought, I don't want to play that game if it's anything like that. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard good things. I've, I've played, no, I've not played the game. I've not seen the... Um... Oh, cut, Bob's back. I've not seen the, uh, the program either yet. So I, I think I, sh I should watch... Sorry, should play the game a little bit before I watch it, so I've got at least an idea of what's going on. I know people say you don't have to. It is a standalone thing. You can just watch it. But being, you know, being a creator and a content what's of you and things and, you know, uh, with an interest in games, one should... Uh, yeah. 
at least give it a bash. And I have it in my library. I have Fallout 3 in my library. I've just never played it. Oh, I've got too many it. games that I haven't played. Exactly. Well, here's the thing, right? Yeah, yeah. I actually, uh, I've been on a Fallout bitch. Uh, I've been playing Fallout 4 for uh, about a week now. <laughs> Because oh, right. I pretty much let it go, and uh, ever since the show, I started pitching <laughs> the Fallout 4 uh, game. Yes, very good. Because I, I, did, a, I did, a, did the thing, the Google search, or, yeah, I did, I did use Google. There are other search engines available. Uh, what are the best Fallout games? And it came back as Fallout 3 and Fallout New Vegas? Yeah. That's uh, a consensus. Consens consensually deemed to be the best ones. Mm. Um, having other, a little bit other of opinions may vary of course loading but, um, problems with the base oh right okay we're having issues with issues I've just fallen through the track actually uh, I did a, a review uh, for a Spanish mm. uh, podcast uh, last week for the yes. Fallout TV show so oh right okay it's, so it, it's got its issues I won't, I won't lie I mean uh, <laughs> Well, I guess it depends where you're coming from, doesn't it? If, you, if you've yeah. never played Foul Fallout, you uh -huh. won't know any of these other, you know, cannon problems or whatever. You. Right. And if you've played a lot of Fallout, then you go, oh, that's just rubbish. It's nothing like the game. No. Here's so, the thing. Uh, Here's the thing. Hmm. I, uh, I, I reviewed, when I reviewed it, I said, yeah, it has issues, but it's not by no means a, 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 a bad TV show. It could be a heck of a lot worse. I'll tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've heard people really enjoying it. Um, is it on? It's on Amazon Prime. Amazon, Amazon Prime, Prime, that's right. Yeah, yeah, the TV show's okay, but I don't want to play that kind of game. Well, the thing is, I've not seen the program, and I've never played the game. So what do I do yeah. first? Do I watch the program, or do I play the game? Chat. Take well, it or leave it. Either, either way. Okay, either way, okay. Yeah, I, I don't know. I, I, I can do either. I think uh, bought it on sale, but didn't install said gunboat. Where's my um, Steam library? He says looking. Um, got it on Steam or is it good old games? I've got it on. Here's the thing: you don't necessarily have to know the lore to enjoy a good story. Uh, a good, uh, a good story. No, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, you're quite right. Um, do have it, so I'm sure I have it. It's not appearing in my list of game. You'd be surprised. Look, I mean, look at this. Look, this is this is just ridiculous. Here's, here's my Steam. <laughs> There's a lot of games here that I've never played. Um, it, it's quite it's quite disconcerting actually to see how much money I've spent. I never really paid full price. I've always went to come on sale or whatever. So I'm not. And it's over many many wonderful years. And I'm sure I had fallen doom. Uh, Fez, no. Guild Wars 2. All the Half-Lifes. I, I, I do enjoy a Half-Life. All the count Command and Conquers. Um, I do like Guild Wars 2. I'm not in a non-spacey type place at the minute. I like spacey type games at the minute. Despite having Baldur's Gate 3. <laughs> which is very good. And I've got so far, but I got distracted by Star Citizen. Um, I can't find Fallout. Where, I, I'm sure I have Fallout somewhere. Right. Store. Am I allowed to stream Steam? <laughs> <laughs> Fallout 3. Game of the Year edition. Yeah, it's there. It's in my library. It's there. Yeah. I have it. There it is. Play now. No hours on record. No. <laughs> <laughs> so I do have it. it, it oh. I do have it. So... And it's uh, it's not on sale at the minute either. Sixteen pounds here in the UK. Here's the thing: uh, all the Fallout games were on sale on Xbox. Uh, mm. all, uh, all the uh, on the eve of the uh, TV uh, TV show launch. Yes, there's, there's been on sale here as well. I think the sale this is just the sales ended. That's all. Uh, it doesn't yeah. matter. I played a lot of Fallout Three back in the day. Watched the whole series and was entertained. Well, that's all you can ask, isn't it? Will you be entertained? Uh, probably. Are you not entertained? <laughs> Are you not entertained? Fallout 4 was my favourite um, as I built a lot of bases in it. Ah, cool. In fact, Scott Rintropeat has arrived in the voice chat. Hello, Scott. Hello. Are you well? 
<laughs> why why does Leon keep trying to stand on me? They keep they keep doing it's like having it's like having a shadow. It is with it with a golden chest plate. If I move, Leon moves. If I move, Leon moves. <laughs> it's quite scary, isn't it? <laughs> it, it is scary. <laughs> I think you found a friend. I found a new friend. Shadow friend. <laughs> For all those that have watched the in between as well, know what we're talking about. Um, yes, 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 yes. So, what time we're we looking at? We're looking at. Oh, it's it's half past. 11, I was right? pointing. I was pointing at Leon, and it said, "Offer food." <laughs> Offer food. <laughs> yeah, he's not my pet. May, or, or, or there may have been an animal behind him, but. It definitely Maybe. says food Maybe. with creature pellets. <laughs> However, wouldn't yeah. it be funny if you could feed people? <laughs> eat this, oh, eat this, eat this. Eat um, this on a multiplayer. <laughs> indeed, eat, feed the players. Attack your riders also. Okay, so what we're going to do next, I think, is um, we're going to head to the bar upstairs. Um, does anybody need anything for their inventories before we go upstairs to the bar? Let me know in the chat. Uh, be it money, nanites, ship parts, staff parts. Uh, have you got any pets, Pete, this week? I'm not sure I've got any pets. Oh, I've go. got pets if anybody needs one. Would anyone like a pet? A new custom Flying creature. mount. Oh, shut up. Flying all mount these, and all these that sort gex of... These are doing strange things up here. Gex always do. They are strange. Uh, Jacob needs Exocraft engines. What, the actual engine or upgrades for your Exocraft? Um, I've got some somewhere in my Yes, I've got boost freighter, modules. I engine boost modules. Um, I think that's all I have with me, because that's... Let's have a look in my... Yeah. I think both. I don't think I can give you engines themselves. But I can give you the... Um, boost uh, thingies. Let me give you some boost thingies. Yeah, I need an empty slot. Where's Jacob? Come near. Yes, I want a flying egg pet. So Tachyon Rider would like a flying egg pet. Or pet egg, if you have one, uh, Peter. That would be lovely. I shall... I don't have one on me, but I shall get one to lay them. Right. Griffin okay. or dragon? <laughs> Griffin or dragon, Tachyon? Griffin or dragon? One ideals. Have you any one ideals? No. No, not today. Sorry. Uh, who wanted these? Uh, Jacob, so destroy it. There you are. Boop. Lovely. Have a go at that. Kelp sack. Why are you giving me kelp sack and stuff? I, I, I have many, <laughs> many wonderful things. He needs wiring um, looms. Don't you know anything? Wiring looms, yes. Once you reach 5,000 subscribers, thank you everybody for all yeah. the 5,000 subscribers. Um, <laughs> we need as many wiring looms as you can muster. It's a thing. Uh, Dragon says Tachyon Rider, please. Right, I have uh, engine modules which I'm sticking in my exosuit. I've just given them, I've just given uh, five to um, Jacob. Well, boost uh, or Marty engine? says uh, engine boost modules for engine bits. Yeah. No, these are engine modules, not boost modules. Did I just give them? Exocraft engine modules. Sorry, yes. Uh, no. Right, mm. okay. I've so, got boost modules as well. Oh, I do have boost modules as well. I, th I thought they were the same, but they're not. They're different, aren't they? Um, Let's have a look at a suitable dragon. Where's... Uh, I need a spot. How about big... Game's grinding to a halt again. Oh no. Oh, for that space. Oh. Fuck, How about a massive red dragon? A massive red dragon for Tachyon Rider? A massive yes. red dragon. Don't need them. Don't need proton sausage. Do need that. Don't need dirt. Thanks. Did I just give you engines or boosts, Jacob? I can't remember now. Oh no, boosts. Let's give you engines as well. There you go. 
Atlas has destroyed them all. Marvelous. Destroyed all the Sentinels. Beautiful, beautiful. Thanks, Leon. I, I, I thank you. I, I just don't need them. It's filling up the inventory. But you're very kind of you. Thank you. Um, I don't need gifts. I give things. I, I don't. I don't need anything in return. Right. Really if, uh, I should really boost wanted... my exit craft. <laughs> whoever oh, no, wanted the dragon. To get <laughs> whoever so wanted Rice, the dragon. Ran, Rice, you ran me over earlier. <laughs> oh, was, was that you? Oh, sorry, was that you, Scott? Uh, well done, uh, I couldn't figure out why I was going so slow. It's like, oh, I just looked at my exit craft. I don't have anything boosted. I'm like, oh, okay. right. Yes, that would and explain the, the skid things <laughs> and the what's it. So Tachyon yeah. is with me. Pete, uh, Tachyon stood next to me currently. Where, 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 where be that? Oh, you're coming. Here he is. Yeah. It, it's the the chap in the cape and the shawl. Chap, say chap. Could be could be a chapette. Could be neither. Tachyon Rider. Yes. Don't run away, Tachyon. He's got it. You have been yeeted by... Whoever that was. Oh, Jake. <laughs> Sakyon says thank you. Well, you're welcome. I didn't do anything. Um, it was Peter. Enjoy. Enjoy. Awesome that source. That is one hell of a big dragon. It's a big dragon. Be careful where you launch it. In fact, it's underground. I can see its wings coming through. You might have no, to dismiss it, it and take it to a, take no, it to a more open area. Oh, is that yours? Okay. Yeah, when, you, when it lays an egg and it does funny things, then uh, okay. normally it flies fine. Mm-hmm. Nano cables, yes, I have lots of nano cables. Don't need that. Don't need that. What else can I clean out? Mm. Spools of nano cables, yes. Star the wiring looms. <laughs> I, I don't actually have any wiring looms on me, I don't think. No, you need wiring looms. I know I do, I just don't have any. <laughs> Takion says thanks, Pete. I've got Starship is in the way of the teleporter. Oh, what? Where? Oh, yeah. Oh, so it is. Whose ship is this? Jacob, can you move your ship out of the teleporter? That would be great. Thanks, mate. <laughs> we can't get in. Oh, no. <laughs> we, we can't we can't get in the, the thing to go to the place. Good old Jacob parking their stuff everywhere. Thank you. There we go. <laughs> nice one, bud. You've got some wiring loom now, Ricey. Oh, look at you. Oh, bless you, my son. <laughs> where are they? Where they've, they've disappeared. Where are they? I saw the thing saying it's very kind. Um, where, did they, where, did they, where did they go? I'm almost flying at your level. I've lost my wiring loom. On my dragon. I have cake. Where did they go? That's weird. Where, where did have... they go? I have cake. Yes. No, you don't. The cake is a lie. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lie. <laughs> and the other thing is, the there is no is real, spoon. Though. That is very strange. Um, it said on the screen that there uh, received fungal mold. Thanks. A turbine fuselage. Great. Uh, there was one saying wiring limbs. I'm sure there was. Did it go into my starship? Nope. Freighter. No, because I'd always blinking full of rubbish. Oh, wiring looms. I've got five there. I Ooh. gave you four. I gave you 40, so uh, I don't know where they man. went. Uh, oh, man. <laughs> live. Oh, no. <laughs> Are we just being silly and not seeing them? I don't see them. Oh, my goodness. All <laughs> this. Oh, I've lost wiring looms. I've lost my wiring looms. You lost How can no. I? <laughs> we have a wiring loom thief. We yeah. do. Yeah, Someone's out of my way. Someone's out of my way. They've gone. They pilfered them. <laughs> this game is just Right, we all upstairs. Yeah. They've been pilfered. <laughs> they've they're, they're they've been out of the way. Anymore. <laughs> Well, that's just, I'd, I'd, I'd ring Hello Games and say, oh, you owe me 40 wiring limbs, mate. All right. All right, hold on. I'm going to transfer nine more. Hold on. Let's see if they show up. Yeah. 
just transferred Nine from. Nine from. Okay. <laughs> oh, the things we do for wiring loops. <laughs> no. They're go they, they disappeared. Wait, what? Gone. Well, they're not in my exosu. And I don't have them anymore. They're not in my starship. <laughs> they're not in my multi tool. <laughs> this is broken. They're not oh, in my. Wow. Oh. Uh, uh, you should send send this this thing. I've got twenty two in my exocraft, <laughs> and five in my freighter. It doesn't add up to forty nine. No. <laughs> I've been yeeted across the floor. Ah, there it is. Where are they? Hmm. Mm -hmm. It's put them in my freighter chest. Oh. <laughs> of all places. <laughs> How does that cool. work? Cool, now throw me a few back. Sure, yeah. So I've got to put those into the exosuit to put them up there and there. So I'll, I'll give you 40 back. You're not, you're not here. You, you've get come closer. Uh, where'd you go? I, I've been yeeted somewhere. I'm in. Come on, chaps. I'm up at the bar. Yeah, we're just doing it. There we go. So, uh, why is it giving me that? Ah, this is. It's still not as bad as Star Citizen Inventory, to be fair. Do that. Go to there. Bob. Have you got him? No. Oh, yeah. <laughs> let me let, let me check my freighter. Check. check all the inventories. They could be blinking anywhere. <laughs> okay. Now the case the case of the missing wiring looms. Case of the missing wiring looms. Ice's <laughs> hmm. wiring loom with Porium. <laughs> How many did I you give me, Ricey? 40. 40. 40, okay. Yeah, that's like a 40 back. There's only 19 in my freighter, so... That's <laughs> it's not that one, then. <sighs> they went to my like starship. The yeah. They went to my starship. Oh. <laughs> Weird. Strange. Why did it not go in your exosuit? It's perfectly fine stacked to go probably, into your exosuit. Probably gone to, gone to an exocraft that you haven't... Uh, unlocked yet. <laughs> I haven't even summoned yet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> Heather Silvermist. Hello. Suck it, Jason. Is Jason on the way? Oh, crikey, oh. no. Oh, yes, they are. Look at this. Ah. I'm, I'm just being beaten up by everybody at the minute. It's it's amazing. We're yes. waiting at the bar. Well, we'll have to head up there in a second. You're yes. round. Jason, you know, thank you, Jason. Thank you for the raid. Very kind. Welcome, raiders all. Uh, Ricey Starship Emporium. We're just good, good, good mayhem and frivolity and all sorts of random stuff going on. Doing nothing in particular. We've been racing. We've been giving stuff away. Um, I'm... <laughs> A great deal <laughs> really of wiring looms shame, have yeah. been exchanged. <laughs> uh, but we just don't know where they end up. They could go anywhere. If you give a wiring loom to somebody, it could be it could end up on your freighter without you knowing, which is what just happened. It's That's random. True. I'm being yeeted across everywhere by people driving cars all over me. Pete's in the bar. So I, I'm not quite sure what's going on. But welcome, Raiders. Um, I'm Ricey, and this is community night. It's a bit mental. We've got... See, I'm being run over. How many people nearby? We've got 12 people in instance. That's the most I've seen for a, a while, but it's certainly lagging the game out. It's glitching all the people. I think, I think that were yeah. the um, Sentinels. Uh, there aren't any, other. There was. I can see. So. There was, but not at the minute, which is a good thing. I'm going to run for the teleporter. Yes. Oh. Where's the door? There. Peace and quiet. Little bit jiggly still. Now, if I remember rightly, how do we get in here? It's round here, isn't it? Oh, don't um. fall off the edge, Ricey. Don't fall off the edge. Uh, no, it's not that way, is it? It's this way. Stop shooting me. PvP's off. <laughs> no point. <laughs> There is no point. I forget whether. No, don't fall off. Ah, oh, there we are. Are you up? 
Oh, that's okay. the one that goes down, isn't it? Oh, dear. Yeah. Oh, no, no. You, you go up to where you... the normal bit, and there's a teleporter on your left. Yes, I've just gone all the way back downstairs again. Oh. So, welcome, welcome everybody. Yeah. Um, long live Jason and suck it, Jason. <laughs> How did you get on Jason anyway? Was, how was the stream? How was it? I did pop in briefly, you probably saw. Um, just before starting this one. But, uh. Was, oh, oh, there, that one. I think. No, just went in there. Yeah, you kind of go in there. Ah, oh, there we are. Ah, oh, crikey, Charles. <laughs> There's the bar. Oh, dear, no, dear, that's dear. not the bar. And there's Unicron, sat nicely at the bar. Very nice indeed. I'm going to go this way. Uh, Jason, do feel free to pop in very quickly and say hi if you'd like in the voice chat. We are in the uh, in the Emporium Discord as well. Um, I'm sure you... Yeah. As ever after bar, a stream, as we all are, a little bit pooped. Um... Oh, there it is. You can't actually sit. You've got to sit on the sit on the stools. You can't interact with the stool. That's right, isn't it? Yeah. Little bit, uh, little bit dangerous. Hey, Rice, have you played League Dangerous? And how does it compare to No Man's Sky? Yes, Chris, I have played many, many wonderful hours in Elite Dangerous many years ago when it came out in 2014, 15. 14. A couple of years in 14. Elite Dangerous. 14, I think. Yeah. Uh, completely different. Two completely different genres of game. Both amazing. Elite just hasn't kept up. They are trying to come back now. Um, and fair play to uh, uh, Frontier for trying. And I hope they do. Um, I still support it. I bought Odyssey. I don't like Odyssey, but I do have it. Um, haven't played it for a while. I'm currently neck deep in Star Citizen as well. So uh, that may be coming to the channel. We were chatting about it earlier. It's just figuring out how. It's not really a live stream <clears> thing, so it's probably going to be a video yeah, thing. Yeah, true. You um, remember Drew Wager? Yeah. That name rings the, a bell. Yeah, who wrote books on Elite Dangerous. That's right, yes. Yes. Um, he's He only streams for two hours a night on a Thursday, mm. and it's maybe Star Citizen. By the time oh, he's right, got okay. all the people together, mm. got to the point where they want to do something... <laughs> It's they get five minutes to do it, and it's time to finish. Yes, yeah. So, yeah, I, I, I mean, if we, if, if, if I can get, if I get my life organised, then um, you've got to pre-prepare for Star Citizen for a live stream. Um, I think you're probably better off just playing, recording it, and making a video out of it, and, and getting the best bits. That's probably a good way forward. But finding a, an angle, so, so a Starship Emporium looks at starships. I like the starships in Star Citizen. There's some great. Um, some great things going on there. Yeah, um, Sword's done a few live streams with it. He has, yeah. I had a quick look back at Sword's stream last this week, actually. This last year he did a couple of streams. That was fun, yeah. Um, Apache Rubio, you're Leon. Oh, hello. He found the channel. Excellent. Well, found the chat, at least, anyway. Great to have you with us. Um, so, yeah. So, the future of the channel. There's more to life than No Man's Sky. I love No Man's Sky, don't get me wrong. Um, and don't forget, if you are in the UK or can get to the UK at the August bank holiday, I think it's the twenty, is it the twenty fifth or twenty sixth of August this year, the Sunday evening. Uh, we're all going to get together in uh, Guildford, in the UK, on that Sunday evening for a, a drinky in the Three Pigeons Pub in Guildford, which is literally a hundred yards from Hello Games's headquarters. Bit of a get together. Everybody's welcome. So if you can make it and you want to pop in and say hi, I'll be there. Uh, Captain Steve will be there. Can't vouch for anybody else just yet. Zane normally turns up from Zane's World. Um, who else? Who else pops along? Pete. Pete will be there. No, I should um, be there. Who else normally swings um, by? Um, um, Beeblebum came last year, but he can't make it this year. Kurt. Kurt from Assistant No Man's Sky, the app. Kurt comes along. And and a, and a number of others. That, quite um, a few others. Yeah, quite a few, actually. I just Names escape me. And lots of good, lovely players. And there's a raffle and a quiz and some beer and pie. Um, 
And we just have a bit of a laugh, really, to get together. So, yeah. Um, a golden mile. Oh, okay. Um, start swimming soon, says. Oh, really? Oh, dear, Helen. Oh, dear me. Um, a pose around rice. <laughs> posse. Oh, posse around me. Yeah. Someone's gathering. It's quite disconcerting when they get this close, you know. <laughs> um, how big is Star Citizen compared to No Man's Sky? No, it's very small. There's only one solar system, four planets, and a, and a scattering of moons. So right now, Star Citizen is a lot smaller, but the content is okay. It's all right. There's enough for now. It's going to get better. Takion says he'll take eight points. So if you are about and fancy a bit of a night out on uh, Sunday, the 25th, 26th of August, I can't remember off the top of my head, um, in Guildford then feel free to pop along it's the three pigeons pub uh captain steve um are over here on youtube if you haven't seen captain steve then you should again go and subscribe to captain steve and he's got a video out there along with everything else that he does are we going to raid hello games to uh try and get an alpha of light no fire yes i think we should go and bang on the door they get a little upset when you bang on the door first thing bank holiday monday there is somebody in but uh, they get a little bit tetchy <laughs> i'm waiting for light no fire yeah james looking forward to it Atlas is going to go to their Sector 15 community base for those who want to come over and hang out. Cool. Yeah, so Atlas has a base in this system as well. I'm going to be ending off fairly soon, but um, Atlas has got a base on the planet uh, there here. And if you want to come and join in, um, I mean, th there's the glyphs on the screen. We are in Euclid. I do have to go. Have a great evening, everyone. Oh, thanks, Heather, for stopping by. You're amazing. See you soon. Uh, does anyone from Hello Games ever stop by at Meetups? I'm in the US, so I can't make... Oh, it's a shame, William. As far as we know... No. But they have sent gifts. Um, I don't have one to hand, actually. But, um, no, I've, I've, I've had a hat, um, a mug, some socks, a T-shirt, uh, and some bits. And then Hoodie. last year they sent cake, which was lovely. And some Hoodie. bits and bobs. Sorry? Hoodie. I didn't hoodie. get a hoodie. I missed out on a you hoodie this year. You didn't get one. No, and they, they only do have little tiny wee ones for small people left, and right. I'm not a small They do person. have, oh. they do put a couple of shekels behind the bar for us. Oh, and they put some monies behind the bar. Yes. Oh, uh, yeah. They, they if, if they don't turn up in person, I'll, I'll just sneakily look through the window. Um, they 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 do support <laughs> the, the event, which is very kind, um, and we do appreciate. Them. Yeah, either a, a prize is or or gifts or, or uh, money behind the bar. So yeah. Um, oh, James is off. Okay, yeah. So, so Chris Robertson made Star Citizen also made a game called Wing Commander. Yes, Privateer, which was like Elite. It was Chris, yeah. So Chris Roberts is the founder of Wing Commander, the old the old game back in the 90s, noughties. Oh, wow. Which was very good. And yeah, he's the, he's the brains behind Star Citizen. Um, he's got massive, huge plans for it. Um, whether we ever get that far, who knows? It is still in alpha, as we know. And has been for about 10 years. But and there's and there's certain conspiracy theorists around that, but I think his intentions are sound. Um, because you you don't have to play it, you don't have to pay money to play it if you don't want to. But I've, I've put a, put a couple of pounds in to to get a ship that I liked as as a, as a starter ship, and um, I've taken it from there really. But yeah, I think it, it complements No Man's Sky. No Man's Sky is more the exploration, it's more the look, it's the feel of the game, the community that comes with it. Star Citizen is the community again, but it's got a different look and feel. It's more real life. It's more simulator as opposed to simulation. If that's such a different breakup of the words. Um, but yeah, I like them both. But they're both just open world. You just go anywhere you like. I like that. And you can go and explore. And it's persistent as well. So everything in Star Citizen, if you drop a bottle in a, on the middle of a planet somewhere, somebody else can go and find that bottle, so which is quite cool. Um, yeah, it, it can be a bit yeah. too much sometimes. I mean, I'm sure they're going to have a release where they release cutlery and people will be in there, in their little kitchen, arranging the cutlery in their drawer for two hours. Yes, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> I mean, you can get mugs and pine pots already, so... Yeah, i got a couple of pigs at the bar. Nice one, Josh. Yeah, it's a nice little line we've got there. Let's... Uh, can we get, get us a bit of light on the subject a tiny bit not really it's a nice it's a nice dimly lit bar Ooh. scott scott's playing barman oh excellent granny grinder has entered the system granny grind oh dear 
Is, is, that, is that a name or is it or is it a description? <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> that could go so wrong so fast. <laughs> Didn't it? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Crikey. <laughs> so yeah, the channel is it's gonna change a little bit. I, I mean I don't have as much time as I used to to make stuff and bits. Um so apologies for those that have missed me for the past couple of weeks doing the live stream on a Friday. I do apologize, but you know, real life, etc. etc. This is not my main job. Um this is just for fun and frivolity. I try and make it look as professional as I can, but it's it's not my main job. And so I uh, do what I can, and also I think another game might make it a little bit fresh for me as well as fresh for you. Um, I, I do want to try and bring Light No Fire when it arrives. I don't know how that's going to fit to the Starship Emporium sphere, if that's even important. I don't know. Um, but I'm definitely going to bring it in. Um... But I, I do like space games, so we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is go outside and put some lasers in the air. Because it's that time. So it's lasers in the air time, everybody. So let's head outside to the Zoo Memorial that's just around the corner here. We can find the blink and exit. Is it in here? Mm. No. I don't know where it is. Oh, it's there. How do we get out? There, that way. There's the glowing jellyfish. It's not that one we want. It's, uh, wh where's it at? I don't know. <laughs> I cannot believe this. Every time I go round and round in circles trying to find this blinking thing. Nemo, I love Nemo, but he's not made it easy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, oh. oh. I just went through a teleporter, didn't I, without realising. Yes, I'm it's here. Lost. It's here. There we we go. don't know where here is. We're here. Woo. Here, there, everywhere. <laughs> There's a teleporter here. Here, here. Ah. There we go. Well, I'm here. So then I, I can come are. round. We're here shooting lasers in the air. They actually stop, a little stop by the ceiling, which is strange. Got a little memorial in the back there to Zoo Games who, who passed uh, in uh, last summer. We still miss them. So every now and then we just come out here, shoot our lasers in the air, because he enjoyed doing that. Don't know, cross the streams as much as you like, don't care. Um, and then I can take some little photographs next to it, ready for the thumbnail for the next stream, because that's always a fun thing to do. There we go, take some pictures. Just shoot those lasers up for me. And then you'll be in the thumbnail for the next stream. Oh, James, thank you very much for becoming a member of the channel, becoming a shipwright. Wow, that's amazing. Thank you very much. You've got all the perks now. So you got uh, the uh, emojis in the chat here. Early access to some videos that come out. Um, and then extra access in the Discord as well. So make sure your YouTube and your Discord accounts are linked together. And you're a member of the uh, Discord as well. The link is down below in the chat. Yeah, we'd miss you. Uh, 07's in the chat for James. Absolutely. So there we go. Thank you, everybody, for being here this evening. And thank you, uh, Jason, for... Um, for a little raidette there and uh, thank you everybody for stopping by if you uh, would like to hit that like button and the subscribe to go with it and there's right. various other buttons as well we're over on twitch twitch.tv slash rice's emporium i've changed the name i should change that thing at the top of the screen really um we're not on twitch this evening it's just youtube today but uh, i am over there on twitch as well um so much reading the chat discord what's that says james <laughs> you know what it is Look at you with your name in green. Yeah, you. You know. You know. Green name and people. That's a joke. Yeah, join in on Discord in a bit, mate. And uh, we'll, we'll see you over here. Um, yeah, because all the people that you can he currently hear talking over on the screen, the listed over there, they're, they're all lovely Shipwright members. And they're welcome to come across and, and join in the chats for these community-style streams as well. 
So with that, I'd uh, like to thank my mods. I'd like to thank my members, which includes James now. So we've got uh, John and uh, who else is in the chat at the minute? I can't. We got anybody else that's been around this evening? Scroll back quickly. No. Old Explorer was in earlier. Scott, of course, who's here. Uh, Unicron, of course. Um, Scott, Unicron, Pete, and Bob and Gunbutt, of course, as the moderators. Thank you for your support. And thank you, everybody else, for watching and just being here and pressing the like button. That's all I ask, really. Um, so, all being well. Uh, there's some videos coming out. Maybe not this week, because I'm away with work again this week. And hopefully a stream on Friday. You're more than welcome. And watch out for some Star Citizen shenanigans going on in the near future. Look, keep an eye out for that. So with that, I'd like to thank you all for stopping by this evening. And which button do I press next? Oh, that one. Thank yeah. you for stopping by. Good night all, and I'll see you next time. Good night. Yep. Good night, Good everybody. everybody. And thanks for watching. Yes, Anna. Come over. Get your passport. Ha, ha, ha.